Both Brussels and Budapest are claiming victory over the migrant quotas referendum. The former the low turnout, the latter that a majority voted against the EU, leaving both sides at odds. We should, in my eyes, take this very serious. But I think the government in Budapest took, should take it also serious, that it was not a majority and that we have therefore a good chance for dialogue. And uh, that's uh, my proposal already before the referendum. For many at the European Parliament's session in Strasbourg, the low turnout was the message to retain that many Hungarians do not agree with Prime Minister Viktor Orban. Still, he did not uh, manage to have the result he wanted. So that's to me a sign that we should never uh, paint, uh, well, see, I would say, people through the lens of their leaders. Uh, Hungarians are worth more or better than the image that Viktor Orban is giving of the, of the country. Others, such as pro-Brexit MEP Nigel Farage, felt that Britain's vote to leave the EU might have played a role. It's just the most extraordinary result. I mean, 98 per cent. Uh, yeah, the turnout wasn't very high, but then in Hungary, turnouts in referendums aren't very high. More people yesterday voted against migrant quotas than voted originally for Hungary to join the European Union. And I'm beginning to think that perhaps the Brexit vote is now having a big knock-on effect across the rest of Europe. It marks the third referendum by member countries on EU policies in two years. But as our correspondent notes, MEPs did not want to discuss the latest results, voting down a proposal to put it on this week's parliamentary agenda. Zsíros Sándor, Euronews, Strasbourg.